Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm cooking a vegan Zupa Tuscan soup. A copycat from Olive Garden. My In all videos, everything I cook is based on what my kids love and they love the vegan Tuscan uh, Zupa soup. Vegan Zupa Toscana soup. That's what it is. The vegan Zupa Toscana soup. They really enjoyed that. I don't know if you know, I've been converting over, even though I'm pescatarian, I've said that, but I'm trying to move over to more a vegan lifestyle um, for health reason. So I've been trying to find meals that not only myself enjoy, but my children enjoy. And I want to share that experience with y'all. So as we find like hits or as we try different recipes and, um, I would like to share as I go along. So this is another cook with me. And today we will be cooking vegan Tupa. No, what Tupa? Vegan Zupa Toscana soup. And it is a copycat of Olive Garden. So I have my ingredients. I already had everything prepared. I have my potatoes. I have my diced onions. Um, we have, um, non-dairy, which is almond milk, and I have, it calls for garlic, and I have garlic, and it calls for two different types of bouillon, but this is the one I have, and I'm just going to use this. It really calls for better than bouillon, no beef and no chicken, but I'm using better than bouillon vegetable. I've done it with this a few times and it still turns out good to us. And for our vegan meat, I'm going to use the impossible meat. We really enjoy this. I just try to keep it to once a week if I am going to do vegan plant-based stuff. But yeah, it's impossible meat. And I have some kale to add into the soup and I have the seasonings and it calls for um, fennel seed. It calls for crushed um, pepper flakes. It calls for black pepper and garlic, kale, oregano. Oh, let me get, oh, and I have my oregano here. I didn't know I had it out. And it calls for vegan butter and olive oil. Let me get my vegan butter. This is what I use because I try to read the trans fat on um, the butters. Just try to um, use healthy, healthier options. And this uh, saturated fat is one gram. So this is the one I'm going to be using. So I try to choose something that's healthier when, I, when I'm using processed things. And this is, for me, a little bit healthier. And does it call for flour? Yes, and it calls for flour. I have my flour out and olive oil. I have my olive oil out. So these are, let me move this over. This is all of my ingredients. This is all of my ingredients. I have potatoes, onions, the bouillon, better than bouillon, the almond milk, the garlic, the impossible meat, flour, the kale, butter, um, oregano, fennel seed, uh, crushed red peppers, and oil. And I have salt and pepper in my cabinet, but it's not out. But this is what it calls for. And I will be making the vegan Toscana, I mean, Zupa Toscana soup inspired by Olive Garden. Okay, y'all, this recipe is super, super easy. It's so quick and easy. So sit back and let me get through it. It's a one pot recipe. So I'm excited to share this. We've been eating it for a few years now and it is a crowd pleaser for us. So here we go.
Thanks for watching. Please let me know if you tried the recipe.